What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of the last war for Invicta. It was a random matchup against WHF2. Uh, these guys are awesome, uh, just as uh, just as good uh, as their main clan, that's for sure. Uh, it was kind of cool, you know, because um, they're at a very similar stage in uh, within uh, obviously WHF as Invicta is within 2.0. Um, so we'll kind of check it out and explain kind of what happened. Percentage victory, of course, right after we get a percentage victory in our favor for the first time in like ever. Uh, we take a percentage victory the other way. Uh, so we know how this feels for sure. Sucks. Um, let's check out what happened. Cleared most of the nines. We did struggle on a few of the nines. Uh, really nice bases with WHF. Um, this kind of sucked. Uh, obviously would have ended up being the win for us if we had snagged that star. So that is unfortunate. Um, but as you can see, um, had a couple shortcomings too on these two bases uh, as well. But any any of those stars, right, would have meant the win. Um, same goes for WHF2. They did get a three star on Yermi. However, they also struggled with their nines quite a bit. See, they missed a few down the board here. So four actually of our nines got missed. Um, now one thing I will, five, six, seven. What? <laughs> Crazy. I didn't even see that. Anyhow, um, WHF, uh, because they had quite a town hall advantage, um, uh, you know, these guys are class acts over there. They uh, reached out to our leadership and offered to try and even things up. They had, I think, a couple of their uh, tens attack as nines. And then I believe one of their 11s, um, I'm not 100% sure, but they did things uh, to even things up and attacked as a town hall lower. Uh, so hats off to WHF. You guys are certainly class acts over there. Uh, and great war uh, and good victory for you guys. You know, uh, obviously on both sides, we struggled uh, with the base designs. And uh, that is awesome because, uh, you know, both of our, both, both clans uh, are doing a really good job with the base building because uh, our nine struggled quite a bit and their nine struggled quite a bit. Came down to kind of some bullies. Obviously that TH10 triple really helped them out. Um, but yeah, like I said, this war could have gone any way at any point in time, uh, was a nail biter to the very end. So, uh, hats off to WHF2 for an amazing war. Uh, I got some really nice replays in here. I just want to rip through, uh, obviously starting down here at the bottom these days. Uh, there's a lot of really good attacks down here, but, uh, wanted to start on 28. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to show. Um, I've been talking about these open alleyway base designs lately. Um, so I wanted to show a couple hits on the bases, kind of that describe why I'm not a fan of them. Um, so you're going to see what Juice does here. Just kind of creates a bit of a funnel, drops his queen. Queen's going to basically only be taking fire from that arch tower while she clears all of this crap. Wizard goes down, kind of helping things out. Might have want to drop it a little further to the right so he could have started doing the funnel over here. Um, starts doing his work anyways. Queen's going to sit on that town hall for a little bit. The minions went down, get a couple free buildings on that top 12 o'clock location. And you're going to kind of see how this plays out. Now, the queen's going to step up, take care of that defensive queen. She's going to take out uh, the stuff in the queen chamber and then just start walking down this alleyway. And without having any walls to worry about, doesn't have to use a spell for a jump, doesn't try and have to get some wall breakers in there somehow. Think if there was a wall two spaces back right off of this corner. So you couldn't bust that corner open with wall breakers and open it up. If you just had a wall right back here, the queen can do what she's doing. She would go for a hike up and around. Um, she wouldn't, you know, you'd probably make it so she can't pull out the CC, but is what it is. So there goes that, uh, there goes that hog to help things out, pulls that lava hound out of the CC. She's going to be locked up for a little bit longer. Um, now, part of the thing about queen charges is it, it all comes down to time in the end because it's either time or user error. Queen charges are kind of at the state in Town Hall 9 where if you execute it perfectly and your rages are on point, your abilities on point, your funneling is on point, and your queen goes exactly where you kind of plan it, uh, more or less you're going to get a three star all, almost all the time as long as you don't screw it up. Um, whereas some other types of attacks, it's it comes down to the plan itself. Uh, where I find most queen charges, it's not the plan. Uh, I just noticed now he dropped a haste over that queen. That was kind of interesting. <laughs> Don't know what that was about, but uh, clearly knew he didn't need the poison because the lava hound, uh, this obviously was a cleanup attack. But you see this queen now having free reign. So he's sent in this golem, sent in some Valks kind of now from the nine o'clock, start this two pronged area of attack because he knows the queen's just going to kind of wander through this open section and just pick off defenses as she goes. 
CC's dead. It's going to come a few hogs to help out the Valks and King and Golem. Sprinkle them in on all these compartments where the queen cannot reach. That's another key thing. So once all this stuff goes down, it's just going to force the queen down into this king. She's going to get that can. She's going to get that sweeper. She's, all these defenses down here are targetable by her. So drop the raids, take out the queen. Uh, just going to let the Valks and everything kind of funnel down here and then send in the rest of the Hawks. Here, here comes four on that mortar, right? There's only a little section down here that Queen has had no problems. I mean, think if she had got stalled out on a lava wall up here or kind of got forced to go up and around, he would have had this entire bottom section to deal with with his Hawks. Uh, but now she is down there doing tanking uh, and obviously doing huge DPS to all of these buildings down here. She is getting stalled out on the on larger buildings, but... Um, not a, not a fan of these open concept designs. I think it's uh, something to look at to maybe try and wall them off. It's like in this exact base pretty much, but with, uh, you know, you got to try and find like 15 walls or so to, to close it off. Um, I think it would make your base a lot stronger. Again, it's a newer kind of concept. So anyhow, tree stars in the bag for juice. Very nice attack, my friend. Uh, we're at 26. It's DSK, 30 South. So another example of um, why I'm not a fan of this. Uh, again, if we had, if we had a wall coming straight out, get rid of that gold mine and cut that off there. Cut it off somewhere down here, just so it's closed off. So you you can't just allow a queen or Valks or witches or whatever to just wander through this alleyway and pick things off. Um, as she goes through it, but you're going to kind of see how this plays out. It does take a little bit of time here for her to go. We're going to time to this. Cannon's going to go down. It's going to rock down just the rest of this compartment and then kind of move up and around and start moving in here. <clears throat> and really good read here by DSK because uh, in goes the hog, gets that golem lured out. So she's going to start playing with this stuff over here. She's going to lock onto that golem and then lock onto that town hall. So it takes her a while and he recognizes that, decides to start to send in his kill squad. He's going to send in a kill squad from 12 o'clock to take out this entire 12 o'clock section. And then by the, that, by the time that happens, the queen has got through this stuff and they, they meet back up in this open alleyway. Hey, pup. Uh, of course, I got my stepmother's dog sitting for a month so this is kind of interesting staring at two cats and they don't really get along and it's anytime my wife leaves the dog whines and whines and whines i love dogs but come on anyhow see how this kind of is playing out right this whole apartment is getting cleared out by just a few valks i think only about like three valks with them uh the one golem the king everything's cleared out and now everything's about to meet up with this queen right in this section uh wizards uh help out with this wall right here just gonna bust everything through and then once everything's let open into here you gotta think all of this stuff along the outside edge of this alleyway the open alleyway is all gonna get targeted by this queen so you just gotta sprinkle in a few hogs on the defenses that the queen cannot reach see the heel goes down over the fences the queen cannot reach right expo is locked onto the queen so these hogs have no problems taking it down right queen's in there doing tanking with the healers two healers even split off and start healing the hogs i thought that was kind of cool too. Hogs are just going to continue to work up right up into this Tesla farm, but he's got the king in there. Still has that queen. She's just going to start ripping stuff up. Ability hasn't even been used. Two swag rages are in the bag right now for DSK. Just a very beastly attack and a swag poison. All defenses are down. Swag city here on this attack. Nice freaking job. You see what I'm saying, guys? A wall on either side would have would have made a huge difference there. Um, I don't know how much time is left, but again, as I watch this more and more and more, um, I don't know. I'm not a fan of these open alleyway concepts, but tree stars in the bag for DSK. All right. What else we got here? A little ways up the board. 17. Good old Mikhail. Also had a couple newer style attacks. Drags are becoming very popular and here's how they're getting done. Um, not always is it a queen charge, but quite often it is because what you're going to see happen here is see um, these two air defense. Once a queen is in this, in, uh, in this compartment, those two air defense are targetable. Uh, this one is not, I don't think, um, but it doesn't really matter. The zap weight goes down on the one she definitely can't reach. Uh, Queen's going to just kind of work her way up. She's going to open this up with wall breakers in one second. One, two, three. Open wall. 
Uh, drop the minion there to kind of take out that. Just make sure she goes in and not up and around. That would be very, very unfortunate. <clears throat> so she walks in here, gets a Tesla as well as a little bit of a bonus. Air defense number one is down. Keep in mind there's only three left because of the Zapquake. Oh, I got a sneeze. Uh oh. Oh! <coughs> Dang. Oh! Excuse me. Sorry about that. Blah. Everything. Dogs. Gives me allergies. Okay, so that... <laughs> That air defense was targetable from there because of that little nook right there, right? So that air defense was targetable. All three air defense are down. All these dragons are going in. I'm in times four mode, of course, because I sneezed there and I forgot. Um, but you see how that all played out, right? You queen charge in to take out as many air defense or whatever target you can. Uh, when you're using dragons, it's specifically for the air defense. You use a zap quake on one of the air defense that is generally not going to be reachable by that queen charge. And then just flood in flood in a bunch of dragons and funnel them in at the queen chamber. And you got a really good shot. Now, part of the issues with this style of attack is dragons are so freaking slow. And a queen charge. Ah, oh, why did I hit play again? Oops. <laughs> That's tree stars in the bag from Mikhail, though. Um, but what I was saying is it's very important because a queen charge is already very time constrictive as is. You don't want to spend too much time on the queen charge without sending in your dragons. You want to try and send them in early. Once you know she's going to get her targets, get them in ASAP because uh, time will be a bit of an issue on some of these attacks. Um, I think I got another one here to show you. Chad Fowler. Fowler. No, this one was a little bit different, actually. Another open alleyway concept. Uh, this one was a little different. Um, kind of a neat style base. Uh, again, you got to try different things when you're uh, when you're building for Town Hall 9, though. So um, see what Fowler does here. Oh, that's right. This is the reason I'm showing this one is Fowler brings a double Zapquake. His goal is to get... Um, all uh, both of these air defense because he's going to get this one air defense on his entry here which is about to happen boom watch this zap quake look at this oh let's get that earthquake down bros one more earthquake is it gonna get it <laughs> no <laughs> so zap quake fails now at this point in the raid you're like ah oh, shit <laughs> what are you gonna do right um, you only have two lab hounds, 18 balloons, and there's three air defense remaining. Now, keep in mind, uh, a balloon even spits on uh, one of these air defense. It's going down, but still got to get there, right? And those are buried deep in the base. So uh, queen goes down, a bit of a suicide queen here um, on this side. Just to help create the funnel, I guess, uh, for the balloons. Uh, wants to kind of be able to drop them here and just feed them right in. Uh, he does a really good job still. The reason why he's able to pull this attack off is just keeps his composure um, and goes in here, realizes this is the major threat of everything with those sweepers being there, that wizard tower. Uh, if he can get everything in on top of that uh, air defense fast enough, then he's got a shot to get everything because that after he pushes through this section, the next things there are the air defense. So drops a couple on this side. I think he was a little preemptive on that. He probably could have waited until this all developed like it just did because now this hound's going to move over. If he had saved those balloons for right now to drop them right there, I think that would have been a lot more effective. But you see that the hound takes one shot at the air defense and it goes down. Right? There's no balloons over there. Like I said, this is just taking time to develop. If he just waited a sec, he would have had those balloons in this section now moving and kind of pincering in on that air defense. But he ends up pulling it out anyways. We were all amazed <laughs> that this attack, see, boom, crash of a balloon, takes it out. No big deal, right? So the Zapquake still had some good effect. They just didn't quite do what he wanted to. One mortar and one cannon to go. It is cleanup time. That CC hound sitting over there jerking it. Not much cleanup, so I mean, kind of, uh, I bet this this one was very close on time. I'm not 100% sure, but um, is what it is. Tree stars in the bag for Chad Fowler. Nice recovery, man. Um, what else I got? What was that? That was seven, that was 15, wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I think I'm allowed here. All right, let's just rip through one more here. Uh, Justin, going in. Got a zap quake here as well. Here's another dragon attack uh, with a queen charge. So you're going to see something very, very similar to that last queen charge of dragons we saw. Now this queen charge, if he can get the queen into this compartment, that means all three of those air defense are targetable by her. So 
recognizes that, funnels her down, she's going to continue to go down here, wall opens up, she's going to walk right in, she's going to rage it up, take care of all of this stuff and the CC troops, zap quake this odd man uh, air defense, and just funnel dragons in at the queen. And uh, you're going to see what I'm talking about here. Boom, there goes that zap quake. Uh, really just wants to get her in here, get that rage down. As soon as that happens, he's going to deploy the dragons ASAP because uh, they do take a freaking long time. Has to drop that rage a touch early, but no big deal. So do whatever you got to do to keep the queen up because the whole raid depends on the success of this queen getting the three air defense. And this is what I'm talking about with queen charges. When you plan for something like this, it's kind of all up to use your error. If you can get that queen in there and have her survive and get all the air defense that you wanted her to get, generally your plan's probably gonna be successful. But if that queen had died there, boom, raid's over, right? So that's what I was talking about when I feel queen charges and a lot of queen, you know, long queen walks are all about user error as opposed to whether or not the plan is actually good or not. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm not saying that correctly, but uh, hopefully you guys understand what I'm talking about. So he's already deployed the dragons. That air defense is still up. It takes her a second to jump up there and get it, but she does, right? Nothing, nothing, Not that air defense is not taking one shot at a dragon and down it goes. All these dragons are in, even a couple of balloons in there to help target the defenses. Take a little bit of fire. Bam, see you later cannon, only a couple of Teslas to go. Queen's gonna step up, help with that archer tower, beautiful. Only a little section kind of from the nine o'clock to six o'clock that has any defenses remaining. There's still a ton of dragons in the base. Sort of the swag cleanup king here as well. Has another wizard he's gonna kind of drop down once to get some tanking from everything. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> Beautiful, hasn't even used the king ability yet. The queen does go down, but no big deal. Drops that wizard finally. Tree stars in the bag for Justin K. Beautiful. So, tough loss and victim, but great war nonetheless. It was really fun. Uh, thanks a lot, WHF. You guys, like I said at the beginning, are class acts. Um, well done over there. Really appreciate you know uh, reaching out to us and doing your best to try and even up the even up the playing field a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's just. Beautiful. So hats off to you guys. Uh, very, very, very close war. Um, and we're going to get the next one because uh, I've seen a lot of really nice plans going around Invicta. And these guys are really, really gearing up to, to try and uh, make it up to 2.0 here. We're filling up the clans. I think both clans are about 40-40 at the moment. So uh, Swarm is just pumping out these, to these top quality guys. And we're just kind of getting all our synergy together as clans. And uh, it is go time. We are on the brink of uh, really breaking through with some uh, some serious scores in some of these wars. So uh, until next time, I'm going to call it an afternoon. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.